So you got into your first college. Is that your safety school? Yeah. And what's your first choice? Um, I really like University of Arizona. Because? Um, I really like Arizona. And um, their nursing program is pretty good, so I've been looking into that. Awesome. So you want to be a nurse anesthetist? Yeah, it's like my mom. So. Yeah. It's a great profession. Yeah. All right, so it's here and here that you're having so much discomfort, right? Well, this just started acting like it was uh, thin skin, and so getting burned. Mm -hmm. And that's because I haven't done any walking. Okay. The other one, it just so like there's always a corn popping up there. Yeah, there's a little bit of one there. So let me just take a little bit off of here. How, how do we go about making corn stop? Well, you Sorry. know, we have already done surgery on you making it better, but not gone. Um, by lifting, by lifting the, the bone up out of the way, right? Okay. So the thing is really what's left to do uh, short of doing another surgery would be just to manage it by having you come in as frequently as you need to, to trim this out so that it doesn't, you know, keep being painful. So there's no way to dig the core out? Well, you can, but because it's caused by the pressure point underneath, that's why we did the surgery to lift this up and plane the bottom down. And so it's better than it was. That's true. But, you know, one thing that I could do if you want is I could put a little acid patch on this like I might do with a wart. And that can get the core out a little deeper than I can with my scalpel. And um, might give you a little bit longer between visits when you need to come in for it. So you put that on then? You leave it on for two days and okay. keep it dry. Okay, I can do that. Okay, so we could definitely go ahead and do that then. And you know, instead of two months, maybe you get three or four before you need to come back. So it's not going to get rid of it, but we can lengthen the... Does this bother you here? The right there, but a little lower down. This but one. But not... Right. Well, it, it's sort of like... Right here. I mean, that's the bone right there. Yes. You just don't have any fat pad. Yeah. Okay. It, there's no way to inject anything either. Well, you know, there are things that people inject. Um, silicone is one that they used to do, but then it floated around the body and made people sick. Um, there is um, a filler that's used in the face for, it was developed for AIDS patients who lost a lot of um, fat in their face and, and there's a, a clinic in New York that's using it on the bottom of the foot with some success they say, but um, it's an off-label use so nobody will teach me how to do it. So I don't offer it, but I'd be happy to give you the name of the clinic in New York City that does it. Well, it's not FDA approved, so... Not for the foot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The problem is that I'm just going to lotion this one, and then we'll lotion the other one after I put the pad on. But the, the problem is that if you anything you put under here, like they've tried taking fat out of the butt and injecting it there, but the problem is that it, um, it just dissipates because there's nothing holding it there like your natural fat pad. So it doesn't stick. Right. Well, real cold spray. So is there just like acid on the paper that you put in? There? No. This is just plain old moleskin that I'm making a little pad to put the acid in oh, awesome. so that it stays right where I want it. Sweet. Oh, oh, so you put the acid inside the little hole. Right. So that makes sense. Sense. And the hole goes right where that painful corn is. And then this acid is called monochloracetic acid. Do not try this at home. <laughs> I will not be responsible if you go too deep in scar. And who's going to notice the scars down there? Except well, you. when you walk on them. Oh, the scars will get right. Uh, which is rough. right. Right. Okay. This has to be very controlled. This is salicylic acid, a little stronger than you can get it in the store. I thought that's what an aspirin was. It is. That's acetyl salicylic acid. Okay. Um, 
So that's why this needs to be very controlled because if you get a scar on the weight bearing surface of your foot, then it's more painful than what you started with. It's just a little bit of cotton to hold it all in. I just come back and ask you to scrape it off, right? And yes, and that would be. It had a fail safe program here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this is not going to get rid of it because you still have a little pressure point underneath it that may be reformed after the surgery or as the bone was healing. Well, I'll tell you the one that really caught me off guard was the, uh, you call that a middle toe? Um, this one? Right there? Yep. It, I had to change shoes to go to some of them and it, it rubbed on the inside of the, in, the, what, the, the what shoe. The, the shoe. And that was uncomfortable. So I went and got a piece of tape and put it across that so that it would quit in that way. Yeah, that's all you need to do is to just reduce the friction. But how annoying.